Hello, my very most beautiful Libras. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your July bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person thinking about you right now. So whoever's thinking about you, that is whose energy we're taking a look at. So we are going to um, go ahead and get into it. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know is in the description box below for you. Guys, you can also follow me over on Patreon. Uh, I have additional bonus content over there. There's additional love readings, messages from your spirit guides. There's going to be more general and spiritual content over there, um, money and career, that kind of a thing. So if that's something that you're interested in, the link is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with my very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Libras. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through and may they please find those who need to hear it. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let's see what we got at the bottom. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I'm trying to let go. And I want to be more than friends. Oh my goodness. So I do feel like this is somebody in your life. Okay, Libra. This is definitely somebody in your life. But I feel like things... I feel like this is somebody that is very conflicted. So I feel like this is somebody where either like things didn't really get off the ground or you guys started up and they kind of pull back their energy. Somebody who's like, you know, this could even be like a friend with benefits type of a person. It's just somebody who like, I, I do feel like when you guys start to get too close, um, they kind of pull back. Okay, so it could be somebody who's inconsistent. You start things up, they pull away, that kind of a thing. Um, it's like as you guys get closer to this person, getting to know each other you know your bond deepens they do want to be more than friends you know they are trying to be present in the moment because i do feel like a part of them really does want this but i do feel like they have been through some things okay so this this healing family issues they could have stuff from childhood with this card um they could even you know it's just past trauma so this could be past life trauma on top of past you know childhood trauma they could have been abandoned or had things like that um you know past relationship trauma you know, and it does kind of feel like it's really heavily affecting them. I feel like they're, well, this I'm trying to let go. I feel like they are trying to get past some of that stuff because they really do want this with you. But I do feel like it affects them. I do feel like, you know, sometimes it gets the best of them. And I do feel like sometimes they could sabotage things. I feel like they could, you know, pull away ghosts or just, you know, be very hot and cold type of an energy. So they're like torn between wanting to move forward and wanting to be with you. I mean, they do want to be with you, but it's like some, that's how I feel. I feel like it just kind of gets the best of them sometimes. I got the high priestess. So they're cute. Maybe there's a... For some of you guys, there's some stuff that they haven't shared with you. Um, I feel like others of you guys, they have started to share some deeper things with you and you know, help you get a better understanding of them. But I also feel like for some of you guys, there's things that you still don't know. I do feel like with this high priestess energy, they are trying to tr like trust their intuition. They are trying to um, bring some awareness to that the stuff that they're dealing with, at least within themselves. You know, they're starting to see where maybe these issues are playing a role and in why they, you know, do the things they do or feel the way they feel. I got the page of pentacles here. So they do see potential and I do feel like they enjoy talking to you. I do feel like I feel like they do have things they want to say to you. I got the three of pentacles. They feel like you guys 
Um, you know, this is a card of friendship, but it's a card of also being lovers. I feel like they want both, you know. Um, I feel like they do think you guys get along really well together, that you are, you know, that you guys could create something, you know, solid together. It's a really beautiful energy because they just feel like you guys work really well together, that you guys get along really well. They see a, a ton of potential here. Yeah, and the three of wands. Threes are creation and expression. I do feel like there's a lot that this person does want to open up to you about and say to you. I also feel like, you know, there is things that they want to create with you. The three of wands is a card of future planning, sending something out. So they could be sending out a message. It's a card of hope as well. It can also be like waiting for the right time. They could be waiting, you know, while they try to work on some of this stuff, while they try to release some of this stuff or work through some of it. The six of wands. They do want this to work with you or to work they do want this to work with you. You have the Queen of Wands here. They're very attracted to you. And they see you as somebody who's very confident, somebody who knows what they want. So they see you as, you know, a very, the word I'm getting is like vibrant. They see you as a very vibrant person, somebody who knows what they want, who's very confident in themselves, confident in who they are, you know. Um, I feel like they, with this energy, the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands, I feel like they admire you. Ace of Wands, they do want to spark things up with you. There's a lot of physical attraction here. Okay, a lot of physical chemistry here. You got the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that they've been holding on to um, from their past that they're they're recognizing that it's time for that to be released so that they can have something here with you. They're recognizing what's been holding them back. Um, it can even be like protecting their heart. Um, and I feel like they're starting to come into awareness about these things, which is huge because, you know, we can't work on things that we can't realize that need to be worked on, right? And I feel like this person is starting to see where some of their stuff is really affecting their life. It's causing them to miss out. It's restricting their happiness. The Nine of Cups. Wanting to get to a place where they're emotionally satisfied and content. Um, I also feel like their spirit guides, um, their team is really... Help bringing some of this stuff to the light um the nine of cups you know in the traditional deck well she does here too like she's surrounded by all these cups to me sometimes they can speak about being very supported okay being very supported and i do i feel like you know their their angels their guides their ancestors they are very supportive at this time um when it comes to opening up when it comes to releasing some of this stuff the universe is conspiring the universe and their team is helping them to work through some of this stuff the emperor they could have had a controlling you know they could have had like i don't want to put that out there but you know they definitely could have had um issues with a father we'll put it like that five of pentacles they could have abandonment stuff as well so they have some stuff and the universe is really supporting them at this time to work through it because this is stuff that they've been carrying for a long time that is really affecting their life and they're, they're starting to see that now. They have a whole team that's working on them, you know, working with them to help them get to this point and I feel like they're finally starting to um, because, you know, you make them want to. They do want this with you. So we are going to go ahead, we're going to take a look at... I'm going to grab a deck if I can pick it up. We're going to take a look at what their true intentions are towards you and what actions they could be taking. What are their true intentions when it comes to Libra, please? What are their true intentions when it comes to Libra? They got the Ace of Swords, so gaining the clarity, the truth, the understanding, overcoming obstacles as well. The sword is raised up over top of the mountains, which does represent it's symbolic for overcoming the challenges right and there's even a crown there which is a victory you know so they they do plan that is their their plan is to overcome the the stuff that's going on within them and it can also be a communication expressing that to you as well wow and the ten of pentacles so they really see your value and they they really see the potential for something very long term here what action will they be taking the three of cups that can be like hanging out a date a reunion that kind of an energy so i really like that um so let me know in the comments down below if this resonates or if it doesn't um if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe and most importantly guys if you want personal prayers for any reason at all you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and pray for you so i am sending so much love and light until next time